starting at my period last month, actually. This is my favorite so far. I need a book in my backs. Like these are my actual real lashes. morning everyone happy monday i'm just about to go to the gym i'll get Haley to film some of my workout i'm literally having a pre-workout in like the first time in three months honestly i never have pre-workout because i feel like it's so weird since switching to decaf i don't wake up tired or needing like a you know a hit not that like i needed it today but i just felt like it it was just so rain i was like i feel like because it actually tastes really good. Like I actually crave the taste of it. It's the Sweet Strawberry Naked Harvest pre-workout. Um, it does have caffeine in it, but I think it's from like green tea extract. So yeah, if you don't know, Naked Harvest is like a clean supplement company. Um, and I use their protein and I love it. But yeah, their pre-workouts are really good. It does give you a little bit of a tingle though which I personally don't particularly like, but it gets me focused and in the zone. So I'm having that this morning. So I'll probably be bouncing off the freaking walls. It's still cold or is it just me? I feel like yesterday when I was walking around the shops, everyone was just in like summer clothes and there's just me in like a jumper tights and like freezing. Am I the only person freezing in Perth? Like, am I still not used to the weather? Not gonna lie, it is like a bit overcast today, but like, yeah, it's actually cold. Like, is it getting colder or is it just me? <laughs> Anyways, I gotta go, otherwise I'll be late. I still need a map where I'm going because Hayley um, moved to a new gym, so I still don't know the directions to it. Um, oh, I'm also gonna go get my eyelashes lifted today. So I will show you guys, obviously. I have had a lash lift before, but not like recently. Like I probably had it over three years ago. I can't really remember like what it looked like on me. Plus my lashes was shit back then. Um, it probably would have been like straight after I got my extensions removed, but I feel like my lashes have grown so much. I'm excited to see what the lift looks like, but yeah, I'll show you guys anyways. Okay, gotta go. I will chat with you later. When I shut my feelings down You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I, I, I fell in love with your colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us Hello, so I just finished, um, well not just then, but I just had my lash appointment. So I actually ended up getting lash Botox. It's not what you think, but it's just a, I guess like a type of way that they do the lash lift. So yeah, I thought it was a lash lift and she was like, no, you're getting lash Botox, which is so much better for your lashes. So a lash lift is essentially just like lifting the lashes and that's it. Whereas lash Botox is actually good for your lashes it's hydrating it promotes lash growth um but like look at my freaking lashes like these are my actual real lashes i can feel them when i look up how crazy is that it makes the biggest difference like, it literally looks like i've got fake lashes on like i literally look so much more awake like i feel like i'm doing this because I'm obviously not used to it. Peter's just like doing something to his sister's house. We're just at um, their block of land. It's almost done. Um, 
so yeah, I'm just waiting in the car. I'm going to go have something to eat after. But yeah, I'm so happy with it. I will leave the salon that I went to down below, but it was like in the city or like near the city in Perth. But yeah, how freaking cool. Morning, guys. Look at my eyelashes. What? Um... You need help. We just got a um, couple of packages. One of them being an iHerb package and Peter ordered like five packets of, what are they? Dijon mustard kettle chips. Can someone please tell me if you can get these in Australia because Peter's cooked. They don't even try them. But I swear, I, yeah, but. I don't like them. <laughs> no, I swear that like, you can just get these in Woolies. Anyways. I'll show you what else I got. I got another pill box because I don't know. I didn't like type it in to get it. It just appeared. So it was pink and green. So I just got it. It seems a little bit more sturdy than my one actually. Because my one is like shit. It's from like Red Dot mm -hmm. and it's like not, it doesn't um, close properly. Like when this is in my suitcase, I don't put it in a bag, it like goes everywhere, but yeah, cute. Love that for me. Um, I got some, oh, I might have this now. I got some matcha green tea powder. I've become a bit obsessed with it. Um, you should try matcha um, bubble tea. Yeah, yum. We should actually try it from Utopia. Like we've never, we always just get the same order. Um, okay, I'm gonna try this today, but I don't have that little um, whisk thing that you're meant to use with matcha. I just got some more garlic powder. This is the brand of um, seasonings that we like to use. Simply Organic, they're quite good. What are these, your fish oil tablets? That's what Peter got. That's my little eye herb water. I'll let you guys know how this matcha tastes. So I've never made matcha before myself. I'm honestly having the best day today because I got in a bunch of samples and like, oh, every time I get like a shipment of samples, I just get so excited. Um, you may... Be able to see one. Can you see it? If you can't, it's a hair clip. Um, oh my God, I'm obsessed with them. So I got these colors. I just did a little mini photo shoot. Love this green. How cute for spring slash summer. Probably will put them on the website tonight. So by the time that you're watching this, um, they'll be online. Mm, so cute. Love them. Um, what else? I've got a few packages to unbox actually, but I'm gonna make my matcha because I didn't end up, oh my God, it's right here. I didn't end up having it this morning. But anyways, that's it. I just realized I don't have honey, but I'm gonna use just some Nathia sweetener. I'm gonna use a little bit because Is that gonna dissolve? By the way, this shirt is Lioness from Princess Polly. I'm gonna use this milk just because I don't like having the organic one cold. Like it tastes a bit funny. Okay. It's a bit cool. I've got my clear glass straw. Yeah, I feel like if I had that like proper matcha thing, it wouldn't be as like clumpy. I feel like that's the perfect color because I don't really like it too strong. Okay, verdict. Definitely need more sweetener. I wish I had honey, but I think the strongness is good. It's, it is a little bit bitter, but like matcha, like green tea is bitter.
I like it. It tastes like kind of like the Starbucks one that I have. Um, and I have like the pure one. So yeah, that's it. If you I just had a coughing fit. <clears throat> it's one of the clumps that down my throat. Um, it says for um, per serving, it's two teaspoons. That's a lot. I only put one teaspoon in, but I don't. I don't want it strong. Um, it does have caffeine um, match up, but it doesn't have as much as uh, coffee. Let's actually see how much caffeine it has. Oh, it doesn't say. Doesn't it normally say like how much caffeine? Oh, 65 milligrams per serving. Is that a lot? So technically I only had 30 milligrams because I had one teaspoon. Whoa, I thought it was way less than that. Anyways. Still yum. That's better. I might make some oats or something later on, but this is the Naked Harp. Did I show you guys this? I feel like I did. Awkward if I did, but yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna try that uh, today. I feel so like Pinterest vibes with this. Oh, actually no, I've got some parcels to open. Let's do that together, shall we? Mm. I'll show you guys my new car scent too. Lux scents now have uh, Cloud by Ariana Grande. I love this perfume. It's my favorite. It's a dupe for that really expensive one that you can get from Mecca, but I just want to put it in my car. Love. Thank you so much, M. While I'm here. What's this? I know what this is because I'm going to do a little haul later on. Probably get ready and do my makeup. Oh shit. Ooh, new tan. Love that. Novo tan. We have got a ultimate bronze self tanning mousse. Thanks guys. You guys know I love me a good tan. Still obsessed with the um, Naked Warriors one though, but tan extender balm. Tim Tam. Love that. Thanks, guys. Oh, whoa. That is a cool PR package. We've got... They're just a bunch of masks. Vitamin C mask. Rose Milky Remedial Mask. No, Remedy. Remedial. Um, nourishing Jelly Toning Mask. Thank you so much. Oh, let me just have a little sneak peek. So I got some cool stuff for um, X mouth actually. Let's have a little squints. Oh my God. Just look at these colors. Okay, I'm so excited. Oh, I love this. Okay. Yeah. So excited. I'll do a little try on. And yeah, show you guys what I got from White Fox. They've got some really cool like spring summer pieces at the moment actually. But yeah, that's all. I'm still getting used to my eyelashes. actually sponsoring this part of the video so thanks guys and they've also given me a 15% off discount code that you can use site-wide excluding collaborations and my code is just jazz a couple of letters I'll leave it on the screen and I'll make sure I leave all the links to all the pieces that I got 
in the description box down below. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So everything that I'm wearing is sold separately. First thing I got was this bikini top. I am obsessed with this color. I feel like this color just makes a tan pop and I'm pairing it with these really gorgeous. They're like a knitted sort of material pant um they're flared at the ends i'll show you guys and zoom you guys down and then i got a couple of these throw over shirts in a couple of different colors because i am obsessed with them like i've said before i'm getting them in every single color i can okay this shirt dress this is my favorite so far so it's like a silky sort of material it's got a little belt that's like built in I, this is my favorite piece so far. I absolutely love it. You could also wear this as a little throw with some bikinis on underneath. You could just style it as a dress like I'm wearing. No words, really. I love it. Next outfit, I've got a little sunnies and bag situation going on here. So this is an X dress. It is quite short and quite fitted. So I feel like if you wanted it a little bit more loose, go up a size or it's also very booby, but I, I mean, I love it. I love the pink. I love anything linen, like linen. I would buy anything in linen. I would also probably wear this with bikinis underneath just so, you know, they don't pop out at any time or you could just get tape, whatever your preference is, but it's such a cute like beach club, lunchtime vibe dress. And I love the color so much. So the mirror almost just fell. So I just put it away. I was literally um, leaning against the edge of the table. So yeah, almost fell on me and the floor. So we'll be moving that for safety reasons. <laughs> Anyways, this is the next set. I mean, the detail on this is what got me. Like I love the pink straps. I love the orange straps. It comes as like separate, so if you just wanted the top or if you just wanted the skirt. Personally, this fit is everything. I, I'm not normally a skirt person, but I feel like I'm into it. Okay, this is another yes from me. So this is, uh, it comes in two pieces. The top, love the little tie up detail. And then this is like a long skirt sarong. I think I'm gonna have to get this in other colors because I've got quite a few colors of this style. I'm just like, so excited to wear this. <laughs> oh my God, I love it. I can't fault it. Yeah, the outfits just keep getting better and better. You guys, this bikini is everything. Like, look at the detail, the pattern, the colors, obsessed. Then I got this dress, a little bit similar to the linen one, but it doesn't button all the way down. I like this little tie up detail along the tongue. You can make it as tight or as loose as you want. It is quite short, but I feel like that's the vibe. A bikini on underneath, throw it over, you're good to go. Obviously you could wear it buttoned up as a dress, chuck on some heels, cute bag. That's the length of it. Honestly, I like this way of styling it. If you wanted it a little bit more loose fitted, go up a size or even two sizes because it is quite a fitted fit. The material of this is like a satin silky material. So it's super soft. It's not linen. So yeah, I really love the material of this. The last piece I picked up was this yellow shirt, exactly the same as the orange one. It's not a linen material. It's kind of just like work shirt type of material. I thought I'd show you guys what they look like with some denim shorts. Also, side note, I'm kind of digging this trend at the moment, like the unbuttoned look, because these low-key don't fit me anymore. <laughs> but, like, if people are wearing them like this, I mean, okay, they do, but they're, they're, she's a bit snug. These are like two years old. The unbuttoned look, that's it, I think. Let me just double check. I've got one more top. Okay, this is the last top that I got. Absolutely love it. This is actually surprisingly really stretchy. Um, I ended up getting a medium. It just fits perfectly, like not too tight. 
I love it. I love the mesh sleeves. That's everything that I got from White Fox. Again, I do have a 15% off discount code. Thanks so much for sponsoring this part of the video and I'll leave my code on the screen. It's just jazz and capitals. And yeah. Um, we just had dinner. I just had some pasta. Peter's just trying. Oh, I'm gonna try them too. The Dijon mustard kettle chips. It's not Dijon mustard. Honey Dijon. Tastes like honey soy chicken. No, it doesn't. Don't you reckon? Nope. I don't know how it tastes. I need to have more. I love kettle chips, just like the original ones. It's not something I haven't tasted though. You know what I mean? Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? Yes, it's Wednesday. Um, I am just off to the gym to do a PT session with Hayley. And then we're actually going to Fremantle today. I still need a map where this new gym is because I am not entirely sure which way to go, which is my life. Lived here for two years and still have no idea where I'm going. Um, force fitness. Um, yeah, we're gonna go to Frio today, spend the day there. I can't remember the last time we just spent the day at Frio. It's supposed to be pretty nice weather today and this weekend actually, so we might go for a little staycay somewhere, not sure. But yeah, that's the plans for today. I packed a heap of orders this morning for the clips. Okay, I was just filming stories, so I forgot to vlog, but I just made some oats. I've actually been into blueberries lately. I don't know what made me buy them. But like, I've been snacking on them and loving them. It's only taken me 27 years. Anyways, I tried this new protein out, Naked Harvest. It smells really good. Mm. It's a very similar consistency to the vanilla pancake batter, which is my favorite. Mm. I actually like it. I also use the, well, Naturally Chocolate. I'm actually working with them on Instagram, which is exciting. If you guys know me from back in the keto days, you guys know that I was obsessed with this brand. Still love it. Still buy it as well. Okay. I'm going to go eat this, pack some more orders, get ready. And yeah, go to Fremantle. Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. Is it Thursday? Yes, it's Thursday. Um, so the majority of... The flower clips are like sold out. We've only got a few colors left, but I've already placed another order and I've opened pre-order. So they'll be arriving in like two weeks. So if you want to grab one, I didn't actually realize how many of you guys would love them, but they're so cute. I thought I would do like a little um, tutorial because I have gotten a few messages from people, especially with like really thick hair or a lot of hair. And I'll show you guys how I style them. Can I put it on something? Hold on, let me just go find a box. So what I like to do is I like to put my hair in a ponytail first, like this. And then depending on if you want like a little bit of hair popping out the top, you just go around like that and then just like keep that bit of hair up the top. Grab the claw clip, it's quite massive. It's like as big as your hand. And then I just kind of like place it on the top. And then you can kind of like play around with the hair. Can you see that from the side? Not sure how well you can see, but yeah, they're actually so good. I've been like wearing them every single day and actually really curious. I sent some to Riley, she's got really thick hair to see how it holds up. But like my hair's like quite, like it, it's not like super thin, but obviously I don't have like a lot of hair. Um, so I'd be curious to see how um, people with really thick hair style them. Peter's mum actually um, always wears her hair up in a messy bun and she like kind of clipped it underneath the bun and it looked really cool. Guys, wanna grab a couple colors, then yeah, um, they're on the website right now 
to get. But today I'm actually, well tonight, I'm actually going to an event. This is my first event that I've been to that I can remember since living in Perth. Which is so weird to me because when I was living on the Gold Coast, I was so used to going to events. This top is actually really booby. It's the Lululemon Align top. Um, yeah, I was so used to going to events, but um, yeah, like there's just like, I guess barely any like influencers here. Like there's a few, apparently there's like 30 going. I'm just curious to see like who is going because I literally only know like five in Perth. So I forgot to have my vitamins this morning. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see who goes. Yeah, I'm actually really excited. It's for the opening of Karen Up Camilla store and Sephora is also opening up there tonight as well. So I might go and have a little quick sticky beak in there. Hopefully it's not too busy, but yeah, apparently like the whole top floor of Karen Up Shopping Center is opening. So that's very exciting. So I'm doing that tonight. I also got this in PR yesterday, Dewy Bronze Glossy Cheek Tint from Ciate London and actually looks really nice, to be honest. Love me a, oh, it's really small. Oh, it's like, I feel like that's such a summer, it's like a bronzy gloss. I'll give it a go. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to go to this event. Um, apparently, well, you'd think you'd have to wear Camilla. I actually have like this old play suit that I love that I bought like four years ago and I tried it on and it still fits. And I'm like, oh my God, yes, I'm gonna wear that. But apparently um, we actually get to take home a piece so we can get changed into that when we get there, which is gonna be fun. Um, yeah, I'm going with Peter's mom because she knows one of the um, staff members that works at Camilla. So she's going to be my little plus one for tonight. Um, but yeah, that's basically everything. I was going to go to the gym this morning, but I had some content to film. Um, and I just wanted to get that over and done with. I need a, yeah, I've got so, so much to do. I've just been like on my um, laptop um, and using like my planners and stuff like that to plan the next couple of weeks because it's going to be... A shit show in like the best possible way <laughs> i would say like more end of october november and december is probably my busiest period of the year well i guess i'm like i always keep busy but like obviously with like black friday sales christmas promotions um lots of brands you know want influencers to promote whatever it is that they're promoting for the holiday season and it's always so busy. So if you do see more like ads than normal, then that's why. These next couple of months are gonna be super busy for me, not only for work, but obviously I'm moving hopefully in December. Um, so yeah, I've got to organize like my container. My, I need to figure out what car company I'm gonna to use to ship my car over. I'm going to need to figure out what I'm going to do with my furniture, what we're going to do with the house, which we're not sure about yet. Um, it's just, it's just come so fast. Like it's already October and I thought I'd already have my shit together in regards to the house, but we're still like discussing that. I am also trying to manage all the shipments going to Queensland because I have to like reorder some packaging for my business, like for Jazz Hair Made. Um, and obviously I don't want to, you know, ship it all here when I'm going to be there in December. So I've got to figure out where we're going to store all these boxes full of, yeah, mailers and stuff like that. So that's what I need to figure out as well today. I need to book in my Vax. I was going to have it. Um, wait, why did I have it last week? Holy shit, last week just went so quick. Okay, I need a book. Vax, maybe I'll do that today. Um, 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 I've got to do some selects for a few brands. Um, I have got a reel that I need to finish filming today. The package from is awaiting collection. Oh, okay, I've got to go to the post office.
Got a lot on my plate at the moment. Oh yeah, I also need to go to JB Hi-Fi and look at drones. Thanks for your recommendations. And I also need to go to Office Works to um, print some more Jazz Handmade stickers because they ran out. It's just not enough days in the week, I swear. All right, I've got so much to do today and I've got the event tonight. Unless I just go tomorrow. I could just go tomorrow and do that. Let's just break it up here because I feel like I'm just going to be overwhelmed and it's already 11.30. I'm gonna go get started on all of this and yeah I will chat to you guys later I'll show you guys my outfit and makeup when I get ready I've literally been flat out all day didn't even feel myself getting ready this is the look I'm actually getting changed into like a new season Camilla dress when I get there but this is literally so old I bought it like four years ago um, I've got my new uh, Novo shoes and then like my Balenciaga bag. I don't actually know what I'm gonna get dressed into So hopefully it goes with the pink, but um, I'm just rolling with it um, I'm not sure how much of the event I'll vlog. That's the look Hey guys, happy Friday Haven't been vlogging much actually um, there's nothing really much to update you guys on. The event was actually really cool yesterday. It was just like an opening of the Camilla store. I also, oh, let me go get the dress. I got gifted this gorgeous silk dress. Like, I'm obsessed. I just don't know. I guess like you could wear it to like a wedding maybe engagement party like I don't know something like a little bit more fancier but then again with like slip dresses I personally haven't styled it this way but I have seen people knotted at the bottom and then they could like I personally don't know if I would rock it but like you could put like a cropped tee or like a tee over the top so it kind of looks like a skirt if that makes sense um or even just like tuck it in I don't know with some jeans and like make it a top um it's quite Thin. So I feel like you could even like bunch it up like I said and tuck it into some jeans um, But yeah, that's the piece that I got last night and then I went into Zara and Picked up a couple of things because yeah that whole section in Karen up opened I ended up getting this just really basic tank top. I'm like obsessed with them with everything um what else did I get? I got that bag, which I'll show you. Um, this, oh, I'll go get them. They're in my room. And then I got these. How good is the match to this linen top, which I got from a pretty little thing, actually. I got an order a couple days ago. I was going to save it for like a things I've bought recently video, which I'll probably include these in. But yeah, I've like accumulated a few bits and bobs that I haven't shown you guys in the weekly vlog that I was gonna film a separate video too, which I still might do, not sure yet. But yeah, I got these. They're actually see-through a bit. You could wear them with bikinis, even with this. Like, love that. And then I got this bag. How Island Vibes is it? It honestly looks a bit designer. It's like a really cute cream crochet bag. I love it. And there was only one there. And I was like, this is my sign. Because I'm probably never going to be able to find it again. It did come with like a um, long strap, but I probably wouldn't wear it. Well, I mean, I could, but I just love that so much. Um, and then I wanted to get like an off white cream linen-ish. It's actually not completely linen. Because it's just from Uniqlo. Is it Uni? Yeah, Uniqlo. Is that how you say it? Never shopped there before. Um, I saw this from like the outside of the store and I was like, oh my God, that's exactly what I want. It was so cheap. It was like 40 bucks. Um, linen can be quite expensive. Um, so yeah, I got that one. I like that it. it's like a cream, like off-white color. So I got that also yesterday. And that's my little haul. Um, I'm about to actually go and get my second vaccine. 
um, and then probably just take it easy for the rest of the day. I might go to the gym and maybe just do some steps or something, but nothing too intense. Um, if I'm all good tomorrow, we're going to go out for dinner. I might go to Pilates, maybe get another acai bowl. But yeah, that's my plans for the weekend. Um, oh, also, I'm going to save this one for the TikTok. You guys are going to have to go follow my TikTok. I'm going to try and be a little bit more active on there because I've been finding myself scrolling on TikTok and I'm like buying, like I literally bought a set. This girl on TikTok just looked amazing in it and I was like, I need it in my life. So I bought that this morning. So I've been heavily influenced from TikTok and I've been like inspired to make more videos and content. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do like a first impressions of Dickies. It, it's a bit like, if you know, you know, if you like, if you're on TikTok regularly, you'd probably see it all over there. Um, I personally love that, like the baggy pant look and I ordered one from the iconic. I'm not sure about the sizing. I feel like I stuffed up and went a little bit too big, but we shall see. Cause I want them to sit on the hips. Um, but yeah, I'm going to film a little TikTok unboxing. <laughs> so if you want to see what they look like, head over to my TikTok. I'll leave it linked here. Um, but yeah, that's the plans for the rest of the day. I'm going to, I'll obviously keep you guys updated with the vaccine and everything. Actually, maybe I should grab some Panadol because I remember after my first dose, I had... I had some straight after and some Gatorade. So I might go do that to prepare. Got my Nurofen. Oh. And I've just put it underneath the freaking seat. I'm a mess. I need to get my toes done as well, actually. They look tragic. Let me put it in this. Can't say I've ever used it, but it's come in handy for my Panadol. What's the bet? I'm gonna forget that it's in there. <laughs> okay, we're off. I'll keep you updated. I literally thought I'd lost my camera. So I went to find the white one that I have and set it all up to vlog. And it was my gold box. Anyways, happy Saturday. I'm off to Pilates. It's my first. Oh, I don't have my lip balm. It's my first. Um, oh shit, this is like leaking. I'm going to Pilates, and this is the first time I'm doing Reforma in months. So this shall be fun. I'm actually really excited though. By the way, I'm completely fine after having the vaccine, the second dose. I've fully graduated now. And I feel amazing, actually. I've got a little bit of a sore arm, but that was the same as last time. Um, when we were out at dinner last night, we went to Guzman and Gomez. It's like our new Friday ritual. Um, yeah, it. I just started to get a little bit of a headache, but that's as far as it went. I just took two Nurofen before bed, and yeah, it, I'm completely fine this morning. I was like, oh, please. Please don't wake up and I'm crook because then I wouldn't be able to enjoy the weekend. But yeah, I'm all good. I'm going to Pilates now. Um, and then after I get home, I'm going to go and get an acai bowl. So I'm really excited. I'll share which place I go to because I'm going to try all of them and report back. Okay, here's my little acai bowl OTD. This is the dress that you saw in my white fox haul. I am so in love with it. But I probably would wear it like bunched up. So I'm pretty sure I didn't wear it like this in the haul, but how cute does that look? Could even like unbutton this again. If you want to show a little bit more boob. Oh yeah, cute. My Jacquemus bag, my Crocs, obviously. Um, jewelry, this um, pearl necklace is actually from Boohoo. I got it ages ago. And then Camilla pearl chain. That's a sample. And then these Sonnies are from Paired. I forgot I had them. And then my little clip. I've like put it, um, I've like clipped it on my bun. So that looks cute. All right, we're off. Guys, look at this acai bowl. <gasps> I went to La Buddha. That looks so good. I got like the chocolate granola and 
like every single topping I love. Obsessed. We're just going to the beach. Sorry about the lack of vlogging, but we're just about to go to dinner. I'm wearing a Skims bodysuit, my Zara jeans, and this like silk shirt from Boohoo. What's the place called that we're going to? Um, Main Street, uh, Main Street Japanese or something. Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. So yesterday, I don't think I vlogged that much, but we ended up going out for dinner to a Japanese restaurant called Main Street in Perth City. It wasn't anything like fancy vibes or anything, but I actually really loved the food. Um, it's like one of those restaurants that I guess you could just like walk in. You don't really need a booking, but we got a booking. Um, yeah, it was really nice. We had, what did we have? Like beef brisket tacos. They were really good. Um, what did we have? Like this tempura cauliflower, which was really good. Um, what else did we have? Fish and chips, like Japanese style. Um, like some chicken dish. Yeah, we just like shared like a bunch of little things and then came home. Just been spending the morning like rearranging my house, decluttering some more, um, cleaning. I just made a green smoothie and I really want to make a conscious effort. I'm going to try and keep myself accountable for next week's vlog. If you don't see it at least once a day, I've failed, <laughs> but I want to try and get one in every single day because I can just see my skin um, just is breaking out more often and it's just not as clear as what I am used to it being. And I feel like having green juices every day like has helped my skin. Like there was a point where my skin was like literally perfect and I was having these every day. And of course try and limit the amount of dairy and sugar that I consume. Like I've said previously, I'm not like strictly dairy free. I'm pretty much sugar free, like unless, you know, I'm out, when I'm out, obviously different story. If I wanna treat myself to an ice cream or a dessert, I will just have it. Um, but yeah, I just need to be more conscious of my decisions, especially when I'm out as well. It's a really big trigger for my acne. Yeah, I just wanna be more mindful of that when we're eating out. Um, but yeah, this is one of my goals for next week. Get one of these in and we'll see what my skin looks like. You probably can't really tell over a camera like if it's good or bad because it's a camera, but like in real life, I feel like I can notice. I didn't get my period last month actually. Um, yeah, so I don't know if it's maybe because I'm getting my period or what's going on. I go for a walk later on, Peter's just at the gym. I'm just gonna get a head start in editing this week's vlog. I'll try to get it finished basically by the time he gets here so we can go enjoy the rest of our afternoon. But I'm gonna end this vlog here. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next week. Bye.